The war in Ukraine has significantly increased the demand for advanced munitions, particularly air-to-air -air missiles, putting pressure on U.S. stockpiles. This surge in demand has prompted Washington to explore alternatives to maintain its deterrent capability. To address this, the U.S. and Japan recently agreed to initiate a feasibility study on co-producing the AM-120 Amram, Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air Missile, one of the most advanced air-to-air -air missiles in the U.S. arsenal. This agreement follows a meeting in Hawaii on October 7, 2024, where the two nations formalized their commitment to enhancing defense cooperation, especially in light of the prolonged Western military support for Ukraine. The AM-120 Amram, a significant improvement over the older AM-7 Sparrow series, is a critical component of modern aerial combat. Its compact and lightweight design, combined with its ability to operate in all weather conditions, day or night, makes it indispensable for air defense. The missile is designed to intercept low-altitude targets, utilizing a sophisticated combination of an integrated active radar, an inertial reference system, and a microcomputer. This allows it to be less reliant on the aircraft's fire control system, enabling more independent targeting. One of AMROM's key features is its active radar, which enables autonomous guidance to the target. This means a pilot can launch multiple missiles at different targets while simultaneously performing evasive maneuvers. The missile is widely deployed on U.S. military aircraft, including the Air Force's F-15, F-16, F-22, and F-35A, and the Navy and Marine Corps' F-A-18, F-35B divided by C, EA-18G, and AV-8B. AMROM's guidance system allows it to home in on long-range targets with course updates via a data link from the launch aircraft. As the missile approaches the target, its monopulse radar takes over, providing precise tracking and guidance. It also features a home-on-jam mode designed to counter electronic jamming attempts by the enemy. Upon nearing the target, a proximity fuse activates the warhead, ensuring destruction of the threat. As one of the most advanced air-to-air -air missiles, AMROM plays a crucial role in maintaining air superiority. Its advanced radar guidance system and medium range make it a highly valued asset for air forces. Since the conflict in Ukraine began, demand for AMROM has soared, driven by Ukraine's need to defend its airspace against Russian attacks. This has led to urgent replenishment requirements for U.S. arsenals which are managed through centralized production in the U.S. by defense contractors, in collaboration with the U.S. Air Force. Recognizing the need to diversify and enhance production capacity, the U.S. has turned to Japan as a potential partner by co-producing AMRAM. The U.S. can ensure faster production and greater strategic availability while strengthening alliances in the Asia-Pacific region. Japan has been rapidly modernizing its military in response to growing security concerns in the Indo-Pacific region. The co-production of AMROM is seen as a strategically advantageous collaboration for Japan, enhancing its military posture while strengthening its alliance with the U.S. This initiative could lead to increased interoperability and integration of defense systems between the two nations, a crucial factor in responding to global stock requirements. Mitsubishi Electric is expected to manage AMROM production under a license from Lockheed Martin, a leading air-to-air -air missile manufacturer. The feasibility study will not only explore the technical and logistical aspects of the project, but will also address funding and cost-sharing concerns. This effort aligns with Japan's broader defense cooperation with the U.S., building on an agreement signed on July 29, 2024 to co-produce Patriot Pac-3 missiles. The potential co-production of AMROM is just one element of a broader strategy to deepen U.S.-Japan military cooperation. The integration of Japanese supply chains into the high-grade munitions sector strengthens the defense industries of both nations and reflects the evolving global geopolitical landscape. In particular, this collaboration is seen as a response to growing concerns about China's influence in the Indo-Pacific region. Moreover, 
The U.S. has been focused on enhancing its alliances across the Indo-Pacific, not just with Japan, but also with Australia, India, South Korea, and the Philippines. Strengthening these relationships is seen as vital to maintaining balance and countering potential threats in the region. In the coming months, the feasibility study will provide critical insights into the technical, financial, and regulatory challenges involved in co-producing AMRAAM missiles between the U.S. and Japan. If successful, this project will bolster U.S. munition supplies while further integrating Japan into the high-tech munitions production landscape. As global tensions continue to rise, particularly in the Indo-Pacific, the co-production of advanced weapon systems like AMRAM underscores the importance of strong, cooperative defense partnerships. This initiative is a testament to the shared commitment of the U.S. and Japan to bolster their military capabilities in the face of evolving global threats.